Let me check some. Come on. <clears throat> Just pop that. Feeling real good. <clears throat> Yeah, we got stone. We're good. All right. Uh, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. And uh, we're just going to do a, you know, a quick little open forum, all right, on, um, you know, how the days are evil. And uh, just staying focused, you know, we have uh, really nothing in specific, you know, just wanted to do a quick lesson before, you know, you know, I, I you know, I have to go to work and the, uh, you know, brother's got a couple errands to run, but uh, we wanted to, you know, get a lesson in and, uh, you know, hey, you know, we can start off with that Ephesians 5, you know, uh, it says what the days are evil, you know, we got, we got to be circumspect out here, you know, there's a lot of things happening in this world, all right, so we got to walk wisely, all right, we got to be like King David, I think that's in uh, was it like uh, um, is that First Samuel, where it says that he walked um wisely in all his ways? Oh, I think sixteen verse eighteen probably. Let, let me double check. Uh, I'm gonna get the Ephesians though. Uh, okay, you guys here in uh, Ephesians chapter five verse fifteen, and it reads, "See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise." but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And you see, we have to, uh, you know, walk wise in these evil days, all right? Because, you know, we we understand what's coming down the pipeline, okay? We understand there's going to be riots, chaos, murdering, all right? Uh, stealing, raping, you know, warfare, whatever, you know, uh, 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 whatever comes to your mind, all right? That's what's uh, about to happen, okay? You know, uh, you, you're basically going to uh, experience, you know, uh, uh, um, situations like, you know, um, uh, uh, like the movie The Road, all right? Uh, the Book of Eli, The Domestics, uh, uh, um, Bad Batch, Hey, Fallout. I, hey, Rapai, I just started watching that. Watch the first episode. Man. You know, man. First episode, man, it, it, it was a bang. I'm going to put it like that, man. Okay. <laughs> All right, you know they show you the uh, uh 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 you know the nukes going off, okay? They they show you you know uh um how people are gonna raid one another, okay? You see, this is what's coming. All right, so we have to you know stay locked in, stay focused. You know they they, they it, 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 we're not in the times of you know lollygagging, you know uh a uh, 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 partying, BSing, you know. Cause they, you, you go out there, it might be, you know, your, your last step, so to speak. Okay. Yeah. But you got it, Doc. I got a. Uh, you said the one uh, about King David that he had the love of the people. No, it says that he behaved himself wisely and all. His oh, ways. oh yes, yes, that's above. This is First Samuel chapter eighteen, verse fourteen, and David behaved himself wisely in all his ways, and the Lord was with him. You see. His a hey, his heart was fixed on the Lord, all right, and, and wisdom was meeting him in every thought. You see, the Lord was with David, all right, guiding his steps, all right, and, and before every move, the uh, King David always inquired of the Lord. You know, you mm -hmm. you always gotta get uh, uh, sound counsel, man. In the in the multitude of counselors, there's safety. You see, that's right. Hey, you know. That's heavy how you uh, uh, mentioned how the um, King David inquired, all right? And we got to do the same thing. We always got to pray to the Lord. Can you get that one scripture in Sirach that you bring out a, a lot? Uh, oh, so it's, it's 715? Yeah, I, be I believe that's it. Well, you know, well, we we, we got to ask the Lord to uh, um, guide our steps, man, properly. You know, direct yeah. us in the right direction. You know, because it, it's real bad out here. You know, I, I've just, you know, uh, I've been working a lot in the city again. And, you know, all you see is uh, uh, homeless uh, uh, individuals, all right, drug addicts, all these uh, 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 immigrants, you know. Hey, people are taking, you know, a lot of L's right now, man. You know, you don't know what people are on. You know, I just seen a, um, 
a few, you know, uh, reports, articles, you know, you, you got, um, you had this one, uh, you know, she was a woman that, you know, this happened to, but she picked up a customer. She was an Uber driver or a Lyft driver, one of the two. And she ended up getting, um, drugged, uh, uh raped and killed by her passenger, man. You know, and that, that that's like a, a common thing. Okay. People are, uh, you know, just walking, you know, and this is in broad daylight, mind you. Out here in Chicago, we have um, we have uh, about three, you know, uh, was it about? No, actually, we have four universities, top tier universities, okay, in the city, and P and these students are getting robbed in, in broad daylight. You know, you had a few over there uh, uh, by the UFC area, good. okay, UIC. <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course, good. But you know, point being though is uh, you no, know, these things are happening. All right, hey, you know, people are, you know, just having a family party. Next thing you know, there's a shootout and people are dying. That happened to that uh that little girl out there and uh, I think it was the back of the yards. You know? So point being is, is a lot of stuff is happening, man. And it's it's uh, uh more regularly now, you know? Lord is uh, increasing his judgments. See? Right. But um you got that uh scripture I think that was the Sirach you said Yes, uh, Sirach, also known as um, Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 37, verse 15. And above all this, pray to the Most High that he will direct that way in truth. Mm. Yeah, and that's what we uh, have to do. We have to pray to the Lord nonstop, all right, that he directs us in the, in the right path. You know, we, we don't, look, man, we, we, we don't want to get sent off, all right? We do not want to get sent off, man. All right, Salaki, man, I'm looking at this fucking black bitch, bald as fuck, proud, looking like a, what, what, what's a, a Will Smith's wife? I can't even remember her goddamn name. Pinky, Jada, Jada Pinky. Pinky. Salaki, yeah, I'm looking at fucking Jada Pinkett right now, bro. Stay, stay, man, stay away from these black bitches, bro. This is, the, you know, stay, hey, be, hey, be around the right folks, the nice folks, man. All right? Straight up, hey, man. The scripture says be continually with a godly man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm on the script, baby. Shit. You know, <laughs> hey, you know, I, you know, I'm just you know, just just making that statement, man. Because hey, a lot of just, hey, a lot of these um, you know, of course, you know, it just happens every so often. All, a bunch of articles will start coming out about the black woman, man, or a Latin woman, whatever, man. Because they're they're all the same to me, personally. You know, of course, but I'll say this: the, uh, the black woman's the worst of the worst, though. You know, but it, it, man, I just keep seeing videos. Or not videos, but articles of them, you know, uh, setting up men, all right, falsely accusing men, getting men killed, you know, so so on and so forth, man. Stay away fr uh, uh, from them. Hey, man, you got to be like Lenny Kravitz, man. American woman, stay away from me. Yeah. You know? Okay, I'm sure. I'm back you up. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 7. Yo, Shemaya, what's up, uh, boss? Uh, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 26. I find more bitter than death the woman Ooh. whose heart is snares and net and her hands as bands. Whoso pleases God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. So, hey, man, you be the Lord's delight and he'll, he'll direct your steps away from that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, she's just trouble, man. She's Esau's uh, uh, pit, bull. pit bull. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all she is, man. Wait. That's why you know, for brothers, man. A uh, uh, don't. I think the scriptures talk about that. Don't be wooed off a woman's beauty. Or I'm, you know, I'm roughly paraphrasing it. Uh, don't give yourself over to a light woman. You know what I'm saying? You see, you got to yeah. be really mindful of the women that you you lay with, man. Okay, and look, and you know. You know, I, 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 let's just be straightforward. Hey, the, the worst of the worst is the black woman right now. Stay right. the fuck away from her, man. Hey, but hey, the, hey, man, hey, next in line is the Latin woman. Stay the fuck away from her and stay away from the Native American woman. Stay away from them, man. They're fucking trouble. Go be around the white woman. Go be around the Asian woman. All right? They'll smile at you. They, 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 man, they, they, they'll, they'll buy you stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I'll say this just a side note. Hey, for brothers with... You know, one of the tribe women, so be it, man. Hey, I'm with one. I'm with the fucking black woman, man. I'll be straight, uh, straight up, okay. But you know, it, it, for the most part, hey, the woman I'm dealing with is is fine, man. You know, not that she's perfect, but you know, I can deal with her. You know what I mean? 
But what I'm saying is, hey, more than likely you're going to have issues if you're with one of the tribe women, man. Stay the fuck away from them. They got attitude problems. They're, they're, they're uh, not motivated. They just have hatred for no reason. Stay the fuck away from them. Why yeah. even cause you uh, uh, problems in your life, man, you know? I got, I got that uh, Sirach you quoted. Con, con. Con, this is uh, Sirach 25 and verse 21. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman yeah. and desire her not for pleasure. Woo! You got a champ. Con, so you're not supposed to desire a woman just off of her beauty, all right? A woman's supposed to have some value. She's supposed to add value to you, man. All right? And stability. You know, and, uh, and, uh, and um, as it's good to say, a woman is supposed to be a pillar of rest. It's supposed to be a <laughs> pillar of rest for you. You know, you ain't supposed to just want her just because she got a big ass, big titties, a pretty face, you know, or she could bring some pleasure to you. She's supposed to actually bring value to your life, man. Yeah. Hey, she's supposed to help build your house, man. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 I'm going to get that. It was in Proverbs. It talks about yeah. like that wise woman help build at the house. All right. That's what you, you, you should want to be around, man. A woman that's going to help your enterprise. Okay. Yeah. You know, this is uh, Proverbs 14 and 1. Every wise woman buildeth her house. But the foolish plucketh it down with their hands. And the majority of our women, they're foolish. They want to uh, uh, destroy, all right, you know, your uh, uh, establishment. And fuck that, man. Fuck that. Hey, look, man, hey, you, you want to, uh, you know, be a ruckus? You, you, man, get the fuck out. Beat it. Yep. You know? You you, you want to cause harm to this uh, uh, sp spiritual house? Get the hell out, out, man. All right? Go kick rocks somewhere else. Go find Ray Ray. Fucking uh, 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 Jose, Carlos, whoever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go find him. Not me, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, me either, shit. Con. <laughs> That's right. Uh, you know? I, I damn should I want him. <laughs> you know, hey, you know, you know a woman, <laughs> she's supposed to. Uh, hey, can you get that, uh, Shamaya? It's in Sirac as well, where it talks about um, le uh, like a woman, uh, uh, her mind being guided, something under those ah, lines. Con. I think that's um, damn, how is that worded? Uh, well instructed. It's well instructed. You yeah. know? Con. You know, like I said, man, try to find yourself, you know, a woman that can that can be molded, all right? Mm. And it takes, you know, uh, 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 instructions that can be guided, you know? Uh, don't don't deal with one that's constantly, Con. you know, trying to fight back. All, always bitter. Fuck that, man. Look, look, brothers, man, we have options, man. We're top tier brothers, man. Okay, right. you know, like I said, hey, hey, you, even if you don't deal with the tribes, man, you got all these heathens that want to deal with you. You know, hey, bro, I'd be looking at all these videos, right? And, and you got these, you know, in specific, you know, the white woman, she's wooed off the black man, mm -hmm. all right, the Puerto Rican, the 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 Mexican. You know what I'm saying? I'll be seeing these videos, bro. That they're, they're like, no white men, nope, nope. Black and Latinos, that's what I want. They got culture, you know. They 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 they'll, they'll say all this stuff about uh, positive things about us. Fuck the black woman, man. Yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck the Latin woman too, man, because she's a piece of shit. But you got it, champ. God. This is a rock, twenty six and verse fourteen. Uh, Y'all, a silent and loving woman is a gift of Yahweh, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. Ooh. That's right, man. All right, you 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 want a woman that, that that can be well instructed that takes orders without having you know a, a goddamn you know a attitude, a right. huffing tough, man. <sighs> no, nah, man. You know, and then what's funny is these women they don't realize when when they serve their man, you know, properly they they actually become uh, uh, happy, mm -hmm. you know, because that's really their job. Yeah, their job is to to serve their man. See, okay. And if you're pleasing your man, you're going to be happy because now he's going to treat you well. All right. He, he's going to be more affectionate towards you. And that's going to make you feel good. You know, I'm there saying for these women, if there's a woman, you know, you never know if you have a sister listening. That's your job is, is to help your man to serve him. OK. And, and best believe it, he, he's, he's going to treat you right, man. Best believe. Yeah, this is uh, Sirach 25 and 16. I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. Mm -hmm. So, hey, man, it's better to deal with some actual beast than this woman beast. You know what I'm saying? Mm. She's done but trouble, you see? And the scriptures harp on that, man. You know what I'm saying? If, if uh, seek not a wife, 
me get that real quick. Yeah. Yeah, especially if you you know a brother in this truth, you know I'll say this because you know you got a lot of younger brothers who don't have you know women. Yeah. They don't even worry about it. You know, focus on your first love, right? Your mm -hmm. your true wife, which are you know is, uh um you know this wisdom. Okay, yeah. focus on that. You know, now if the you know if the Lord blesses you with the woman, so be it. But your main focus is, is this truth. Hey, get these breakdowns. Uh, um, you know, get the breakdowns. All right. Hey, make sure you go to camp classes. You know, make sure you're being a brother. You know, so on and so forth. You know, do these things. Then hey, everything will be added unto you, anyways. And right. then when the time is right, the Lord will bless you with the woman. You know, I'll say this yeah. a lot of times. The reason why brothers don't have uh. Women is because really they, they can't handle it. You couldn't trust me. You you you're not going to be able to juggle the truth and and, and, and a woman. You're not mature enough. That's the, the um. Now I'll say this: the Lord also um uh prevents brothers from getting into a lot of trouble. You know you know what I mean. But a lot of times too is because a lot of you brothers aren't mature enough to to deal with the woman. You know, a lot of you brothers expect to have a, a Sarah in your life. You ain't gonna have it, man. That's not a a, a reality. You have to be very patient with these women. You have to understand that they're the weaker vessel. You know what I'm saying? Now, of course, there's nothing wrong with being, you know, stern, all right, austere. But they, you, the scriptures also say for us as husbands, boy, don't be a lion in your house. All right. All right? You can't just sit there and, uh, oh, oh, th this plate is cold, baby, and just throw the goddamn fucking dinner she made at the wall, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Be all mad and just, and just stomp her out or some shit. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's wicked as hell, bro. You know? Yeah. Come on, man. You know, Jay got to, you know, uh, 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 be, uh, you know, uh, a realist. And they got to, you know, work. You know, if you have a woman, you got to work with her. But some yeah. brothers, they just don't have the patience. So that's why the Lord don't give it to you. You right. know, but hey, that, you know, that's just a little side note. But what uh, what, what, what did you have, Oxalaki? I got a couple of precepts. It's a lot from me talking a lot, brothers. Nah, that's on point. I, that's on point. This is Proverbs chapter 5, uh, verse 18. Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Let her be as the loving hind and pleasing robe or pleasant robe. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times and be thou ravished always with her love. You know, so hey, we gotta you know be in love with wisdom, right? Mm -hmm. This should this should be your first joy. The first thing you think about, the things that you meditate, is this word, man. All right. So for you new brothers, hey, don't worry about a woman. The Lord has her measure. You know, Isaiah four and one is part of prophecy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, let's focus on getting to the finish line. All right, the end goal, finishing the course. All right, enduring to the end. Because hey, like uh, Matthew six and thirty three says, you know, seek ye the kingdom first of the Most High, and all these things shall be added unto you. Hey, we're going to get everything, man. Yeah. All of it. All right. The whole world. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be heirs with Yahweh Shai. Join heirs. You see? Don't worry about these women, man. Yeah. All right. I got another one, too. This is first. Can I say this real quick, Rapai? Yeah, yeah go know, ahead. We, we've been uh, bringing this out a lot as of late that everything revolves around Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That yeah. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai it should be the uh, centerpiece of your life. Okay. And everything else, you know, like I said, it revolves around it. And look, yeah, this is just the reality. Hey, you, you know, a woman, kids, job, you know, parents, whatever, they're on the back burner. You know, they're on the back burner. You know, yeah. It, you know, of course, now handle business. You know, if you got a wife, hey, you know, hey, be, be that husband. Okay, you got kids, be that father. You know, hey, be be a son to you know uh, to your parents. You know, hey, you know, of course, hey, you know, go to your job, you know, handle business there, you know, go to work, you know, do what you got to do, man. But hey, everything revolves around you. How about Shimao Shai? First and foremost, man, don't forget that. And right. then, then you'll have a lot of men out there that that, that it, 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 um, this truth becomes a burden, and they don't want to put you about Shimao Shai first, and that's when they start getting spewed out. You know. And look, man, it's a scary thing going back into the uh, into this world, okay? But uh, you got to reply. Uh, since you said all that, I'm, I'm going to get this scripture first. This is 2 Maccabees, 2 Maccabees chapter 15, verse 18. For the care that they took for their wives and their children, their brethren and folks, was in least account with them. But the greatest and principal fear 
was for the holy temple. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, hey, this truth comes first, man. All right, we're about our father's business. This is above everything, you know? It's like that wise man that found the treasure. He sold all to buy, uh, to buy that piece of land, man. Mm -hmm. We got that treasure here in our hands. And we, and like Paul, we count everything else done, man. Yeah. You see? This is our chief joy right here, doing this work. This comes first, second, third, fourth, fifth. All right? You don't put this on the back burner, man. Right. You know? This leads to immortality right here, man, to salvation. You see? Yep. But this is uh, back to the, the topic here. This is 1 Corinthians 7 and 27. Are thou, yeah, 1 Corinthians 7 27. Are thou bound unto a wife? Seek not to be loosed. Are thou loose from a wife? Seek not a wife. So if you're dealing with an Israelite woman and she's pleased to dwell with you, deal with her. All right. But the moment she leaves or, or you're, you're solo and you're single, hey, don't seek a wife, man. All right. Verse 28. But, and, and, if, and I'll say this, especially in these times too, because a lot of these women are on uh, BS too, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, you got to be very careful with who you deal with because, look, <clears throat> these women, they're they're setting up men, all right, to get robbed, killed, you know. That you hear this all the time. Hey, some guy, you know, he he uh, uh went on a Tinder date or whatever, <laughs> and, and, and uh, he got drugged. All the uh, you know, uh, all his uh, bank account information was stolen, you know, yeah. or, or you know, uh, you know, somebody's trying to deal with the harlot. Next thing you know, he gets into the hotel room. He's got, you know, seven dudes there with, with fucking guns pointed at him. You know what I mean? This is literally what's happening, man. So, it, 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 you know, you got to be very mindful, man. And then, the, you know, these women in this truth, or not in this truth, but in this world, um, they, they're, 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 they just want to um, use you. They, they, they want to see what they can get out of you, you know? So you got to be very mindful of who you're dealing with. All right. right, because uh, uh, if I may say, like uh, back in the day, you know, a, a man, an Israelite man, you know what I'm saying, had many wives. And the Lord created a new thing under the earth. Now a woman can pass as a man. Now these women sit in authority, and now they have multiple husbands. Uh, the, the righteous way of us having, of us having multiple wives, many wives. These women have multiple husbands. All right, paying for each and every bill they got in their lives. You know what I'm saying? Playing her, her jealousy. Jealousy has become the rage of a woman versus Ooh. what the really the scripture really says it, it, it jealousy is the rage of a man. Because why right. do you say that? That that that, that becomes uh that makes and, and when women say it all the time, it's like, well, he's getting so jealous because he's insecure or he's overly possessive. He's not. He's he's possessing what he thought was possession. But uh, you know, in this society, really you do not, these are not our women, man. And, yep. and they don't they, you know, they don't get that same, but they'll say that shit all the time when they ready to leave your ass. I'm not, I'm not yours, and you're right. But this right. is uh, Sirach chapter 6, verse 7. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. Likewise with a woman. You could be with a woman for plus an extra amount of years, man. You got to remember at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck if that's a, 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 a woman of your own nation or another woman. Don't trust them. <laughs> They're not, they not in the spirit. The Lord did not send them. You know, even if the Lord sent them, you know, to deal with you, to give you some peace. The Lord didn't send them for somebody that, that might be in your 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 life until the end, man. All right, there, this ain't no Disney movie with some type of happily ever after. I'm not saying like you just go home ready to receive a problem, but be aware, man. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. You, you got more Ooh, than that the, uh, This uh, the brother uh, from GMS Virgin Islands. Um, he he left the scripture. This is uh Luke 14 and 33. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he has, he cannot be my disciple. And you got to be uh, ready to uh, let things go, man. Yep. All right. And a lot of men, they have issues with letting their family go, you know, whether it be wife, kids, parents, whatever it may be. You know, you just got to let it go. Now, like I said earlier, if, if these things are in your life, you handle business, you know, hey, you be that husband. All right. To, to your wife, you be that um. Uh, that father to, to to the children, but I'll say this: you, Look, you're not going to be husband of the year, father of the year. You know what I'm saying? Look, you're going to uh, uh, miss, you know, events. You know what I'm saying? Little Johnny's baseball game, right. little Susie's uh, uh, dance, you know, a uh, uh, recital. You know what I'm saying? Because you got you got stuff to do, man. You got to teach. All right, you got to be amongst the brethren. You got to uh, 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 go to classes. That's what you're doing, man. Not, not, not trying to be in this world like that. 
you're you supposed know? to be obsessed, man. A man that's obsessed, yes. you're not particularly like, don't get me wrong, yeah, it, a, part, a part of you should feel that way on a lower level because, you know, we care. But that's the, I mean, it wouldn't be a fight or it wouldn't be a, a challenge if, if it wasn't something you were supposed to fight, if that makes sense, man. You know, the Lord gave us families, but at the same time, it's like the Lord give you a car. He wants to see what you're going to do with it. Are you still going to serve him? All right. All right. Well, this nigga's fucking up. All this nigga's doing is tricking off with this goddamn car. He barely works. He's only going to get holes. The brother's just calling for a ride. This nigga's laying on a motherfucking couch and shit, not doing anything. Say, go ahead and fuck his shit up, man. The Lord will do that, man. Sounds if he's like even a, dealing with you. <laughs> sounds like a familiar person that we once knew. Sean Khan. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mr. Walker. <laughs> oh shit! Man. I got, I got some. Yeah, please. Man. <laughs> this, Agent uh... Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of Agent Smith. You all knew who I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, you fucking gobbler. <laughs> hey, bro. Anytime, anytime I can, I'm gonna mention that fucking glizzy gobbler. You fucking <laughs> asshole, bro. But you brothers got it, man. God. God, this is Matthew 10 and 37. It says, he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Yeah. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. All right, so you can't put anything above y'all by Shemal Shah. As the brother's been saying, the Lord comes first, man. As it says in Deuteronomy uh, the sixth chapter in the fourth verse, Yahweh is one. All right, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai is, is our number one priority above all things, and everything else is, is, is a secondary priority, third priority, whatever, you know. But the Lord always got to come first, no matter what, man. Yeah, because at the end of the day, who's going to save you, you know? Mm -hmm. Best believe it's not going to be that woman. Best right. believe it's not going to be that dollar, that job, you know? It's going to be a, 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 a Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, okay? And, and and your your uh, uh, your faith in your works, right? You know, that's that. You know, um, Rapai, did you have anything? Because if not, uh, yeah, I got something right now. Gone, and I got yeah. something on deck because we could start going back to the actual, you know, topic. And the spirit just, you know, had it kind of shift in that direction, you know. But you oh. know, but brothers need to hear these things, you know. I I'm sorry, I got something pertaining to. Hey, I got to say this, man, because going back to what we were saying, because. You, you might have a brother, you know, especially, a, a, um, you know, maybe a younger brother or, a, a, you know, a brother who hasn't dealt with women like that. They might get, you know, uh, tripped up, you know what I'm saying, with with a, 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 a woman's beauty, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And look, we're, we're in those days where, I'm, as I mentioned, these women are trying to, um, uh, uh, two things, either use you, all right, or they're trying to, you know, set you up. So it'd be very, very mindful. Hey, the days are evil. We just mentioned that in uh, uh, that Ephesians, man, Okay. You know, it all ties in together, you know, through the spirit. But uh, you got it, Rapaya. Um, sorry, I can't, I, okay, I'm going to go back to this scripture then real quick. This is 1 Corinthians 7 and 28 now. But, and if thou marry, thou hast not sinned. And if a virgin marry, she has not sinned. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh, but I spare you. So you're going to have trouble with these women, you know. That's why, even if you have a wife, it's better, you know, it's better to be as though you don't have any. You know what I mean? Stay focused on this path. You see? Because they unfortunately, this is the truth, man. Like some some brothers' wives are gonna be Lot's wife. They're gonna yeah. turn back, they're gonna turn around, they're gonna get microchipped, you know what I'm saying, without you knowing. You know what I'm saying? You gotta stay focused on the path, all right? We have to endure to the end. See, and like the prophets before the seers, hey, we can see the end. We know that this is just a bad dream that we're gonna see everybody in the kingdom, man. All right, not everyone's gonna make it. All right, we were called, so let's 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 fight. All right, and hold on to our crowns. You see, that's right. You got Isaiah thirty-three and six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, and you see that's why it's so important right now to get this uh, uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding because, you know, I'll say this even right now, this is keeping us stable. This is keeping us uh, faithful. All right, rooted and grounded, you know, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But, you know, it's going to be um, more precious in the days to come. All right, even though I think that's in First Samuel, the third chapter, it talks about how the word of the Lord were precious in those days. Yeah. There was no open vision. Right. You know, so if that happened in the past, it's going to happen in, in, in modern day times. Eventually, at some point, 
there's going to be a famine of this word. Okay. Yep. And if you don't have that oil on you, okay, if you don't have the, you know, which is the, the wisdom uh, uh, and knowledge and, and, and the understanding, if you don't have it in that day, you're going to be absolutely through out here. That's why our uh, stock value is going to skyrocket, all right, in the days to come. Right. That's why, you know, there's going to be a, 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 a those seven women are going to uh, cleave on to one man that I say four and one, yep. all right? Because we're going to be protected. They, um, and it said at the end part of this, what? The fear of the Lord is a treasure. And I like to bring this out. I like to connect these two scriptures. And this is why uh, the fear of the Lord is our treasure. This is Psalms chapter 34, verse 7. It says... Actually, I'm going to start off above. This is Psalm 34 and 6. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. And I'm going to jump down as well to uh, verse 15. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. So this is why the fear of the Lord is our treasure. Okay? Because, Salaki, let me get the elder in real quick. Hey, Shalom, elder crowd. Hey, Shalom, the um, elder. But this is why uh, um, the, uh, the fear of the Lord is our treasure because we get that protection. You know, we get that shield, that covering. You know, that's why all these other things aren't really important. You know, they, yes, they're a part of your life, but that's not the main focus. Ooh. All right. I got a quick precept. Uh, that, that, you know, just to land back off of what you said, as well as that, um, it even goes into it in the Isaiah 13. Man, it's that's second, good. It's 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. It says, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels. That the, that the ex excellency of the power may be of the most high and not of us. So we, we already understand the fear of the Lord, you know. But, you know, hey, oh, I was funny. I was just thinking about this last night that, you know, hey, the Lord delivers two-thirds and heathens out of certain tribulations. Yes, yeah, for later on judgment. But at the same time, we acknowledge this, you know, not saying that we won't get and receive that judgment if we were to fall out. Lord willing, we don't. We understand my damn. We have an understanding of that we're supposed to honor and fear the Lord, man. You know, when this happens, good. This happens bad. This is a lesson. So in, in, in further uh in further walk, you know, I know when, when things get bad, I know what to do the next time. I know I know that I read this this right here. You know, I know that the brother, you know, he, he broke me down in this lesson. And that's another thing. You know, even the uh, you know, the brother can down in Mississippi, he said it. You know, hey, uh, it might be something that she was nestled on as a question, you know, and it might get later on answered in the video. You just have to be patient, man. You know, here's the faith and the patience of the saints that we know that the most high is going to give us every needful thing in due season. And, mo and mainly that being the knowledge of what to do, man. You know, you got niggers out there, man, that, like that niggers got riches and shit, and they don't even know how to keep it or what to do with it. That's why the only excuses they can pro provide is that, oh, well, at least they making money. But guess what? When all hell breaks loose, what's going to be your money then? Exactly. Right, that that uh the, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. That treasure is uh, uh for later use. Mm -hmm. Right, we're storing, the, we're gathering this up for later use during Jacob's trouble when we're gonna have abundance, when we're gonna eat, drink, and rejoice, when we're gonna have enough for our maidens, enough goat milk for our maidens. Man, you see, while the rest of the world has no hope, they're gonna be chipped and not be able to use it. The storehouses are gonna be empty. Right, <laughs> that's gonna we be fear and trust in the Lord. We're gonna be straight. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be yeah. funny, man. The, the yeah. jokes on them, they're gonna get the chip, and like you said, <laughs> the storehouses are gonna be empty. You ain't gonna be able yeah. to buy shit, right? Right, because because stupid because you're stupid because you trust in the devil, man. This is the goddamn devil, man, deceiver, man. God, yeah. I got a, a precept from the uh, the brother from GMS Virgin Islands. This is a, a, a beautiful Ooh. scripture, Proverbs 11 and 4 riches profit not yeah. in the day of wrath. But righteousness delivereth from death. Right. <laughs> like hey, like right. uh, uh, the elder brother uh, uh, Lahab just said, man. Look, man, it, your money's not going to be worth anything in those days, man. All right, when all hell breaks loose. Because it's not real care. anyway. Yeah. We, we we look, man. I don't care about your bunker. I don't care about your you know cyber trucks. I don't care about your you know your private jets. 
Okay. I don't care about that, man. That's not gonna hey, look, man. Uh, is that gonna uh, <laughs> gonna allow you to escape from a thermonuclear missile? All right. <laughs> and then look, even if your bunker somehow uh, allows you to survive that, right? Let's just hypothetically speak. Is that gonna uh, uh, protect you from your how about you, shy? Nope. Fucking cornball. There's a lot of cornballs, man, out here. I just gotta say, I, man, you motherfuckers, man, really have no fear, man. Of your how about Shemel Shah, you know, of the true heavenly father. You you people who fear Esau and science. And the Lord's about to uh, uh, put that shit to an end, man. Yeah, a bunch of these people, people are stupid, man. Yeah, I got some. Oh, okay. Con, this is Amos Fab in verse uh, 18. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. Ooh. As is as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. So, <laughs> hey, no, no matter what you do, your how about Shemal Shah is going to get you with his judgment. You know, you got your brother saying, what's it like? What's it saying? No, it's another one. It would say, uh, if I make my bed, I am there, something like that. Oh, if I make my bed in hell. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah. Somebody can get that. Yeah. Connor, I think it's, uh, yeah, what you done like, saying? Like, what you saying? Shemai. No, uh, you uh, no, no, I was saying that um, no matter what you do, you can't escape the judgment of Yahweh. Yep. Shemai, right? You know, it's in Deuteronomy, the the, the, tw the thirty second chapter. All right, that none can deliver out of my hand. So if hmm. the Lord want to put you to death, the Lord want to wound you, what, what, whatever the Lord want to do unto you, that's what's gonna come, man. And there's nothing that that's you it. can do. So it don't matter if you got a bunker. It don't matter if you go. To another part of the world, the judgment of the Lord is still gonna get you. <laughs> yeah, that's it, bro. It's like, bro, you people are, are dumb, man. The Lord created you, dummy. You ain't you can't finesse, you can't finesse and run from the Lord, man. But that's what these stupid people be thinking they stupid head, man. Right. Oh boy, man. No, uh, this, this, bunch, this, of, this, bunch this, of dummies, man. This case is a proud and <laughs> idiotic ge uh, a generation, man. Real yeah. talk. Hey, but hey, they, they, science is their god now, you know. They they really yeah. think that they could, you know, outsmart, outstrength. You know what I'm saying? The Lord, like that, that is complete madness, bro. Mm -hmm. oh, then little they stupid ass know they have what they have because of the Lord anyway. Yep. The technology yeah. so have uh, on the left hand side. The Lord gave you that, man. Mm -hmm. I got, I got some real quick. This, this Psalms two and verse one says, "Why do the heathen rage?" And the people imagine a vain thing. Yep. yep. So it, that's what the heat, that's what the heat and doing. Why, why are you, why are you in an uproar? All right, tumult trying to come against Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, thinking that you're gonna go against his will and his commandment. There's nothing that you can do. It's, the Lord said he controls the, the minds of these kings, man. You know, that's it. Hey Lahab, I see so you one bit. Oh, oh, oh slide. Go, no, ahead, slide. Man. go ahead, Shima. No, no, no I, I ain't no more poor. The heat and you know, they think that their kingdom is gonna go on forever. They're going to rule forever, but that's not the will of the Lord. All right. Mm -hmm. Revelation, the 17th chapter says that his will is that Babylon be burned with fire. That's it. <laughs> that's what's going to come to pass, man. That's it. It say he will, uh, he will uh, do all his pleasures. He said, my, he said his ways are higher than your ways, man. You know, you can't, up, you can't stop the will of the Lord, man. No matter what you do, man. Mm -mm. That's right. Uh, Psalms one thirty nine verse seven. Whither shall I go from thy spirit, or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend <laughs> up into heaven, thou art there. So you can't run from the Lord, man. Yep. You can't run, man. man. Oh, go ahead. So, 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 so. If I if I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. Mm -hmm. So Lord is everywhere. <laughs> no, you can't run. You can't hide, man. Well, the, the, his name is Yahweh, no meaning he is, is, to, is to <laughs> some he is all. You know what I'm saying? He's everywhere, man. Yeah. So you can't run, man. No. Hey, you you, you keep out of oh, that's you keep out the stupidest motherfuckers that ever exist on the planet, man. All yeah. right, I, I, I was telling on uh, the brother, man. Shit, a lot of a lot of you motherfuckers, daddy should play the porn star, man. <laughs> Hey, well, you know, that's the reason why, uh, why uh, King David even said, you know, uh, I believe it even says in, in Sirach, you know, what is what is man that thou are mindful of him? You right. know, because, hey, hey, man, we're just, 
you know, uh, without the most high, you're just a beast, man. Yeah. Yeah. She just thinks you know it all, man. And, and right. then the most high supplies wisdom, man. He supplies it even to the beast. And all, all the beasts of the earth knows that there's a power, man. Every last living creature knows that there's a power. But then you got you got man that thinks that they can do shit their own way, man. All right? But yep. that's not even how it is, how it is, man. The Lord has that's a whole it. box that you're set up in, you know, to where that's your understanding but it's it's, it's worlds beyond worlds that the most high has created it's, it's it's things going on you don't you have no clue of especially e he is getting mesmerized by why he's being what, what is even being exposed to him most of it is already in the scriptures you know but then it's things it's, it's wisdom beyond that that the most high is going to give us in the kingdom you know that hidden manner you know but hey it, it, it's never a place to buffet and be prideful man yeah man Fucking born in vain fucking beast Oh, hey, uh, <laughs> this is uh, Psalm 73, verse 22. So foolish was I and ignorant. I was as a beast before thee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, hey, uh, King David, didn't, uh, he didn't understand, you know, that uh, I believe it's King David is writing, you know, uh, how, um, and, and we, we were actually as that as well, you know, so that's prophetic, you know, that, that we were as beasts. We didn't understand that there was a world after this, man, which our people don't even understand. There is a time and an age after this where this devil's not going to be anymore. That's the ultimate reason why you can't be so into this. And then we're at the end of this shit. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? So it's like, yeah, you've been here for a few years. Yeah, it's day to day. It's like it's so mundane. You're doing this. Uh, what was the same old shit, different day? But this shit is about the end. And we've seen it in our lifetime how shit could just shut down. I was watching the brother Zakaria earlier, man. Yeah. And he was hopping on. Uh, he was laying back on the hill in Sakharan. You know how uh, things had shut down. You know they didn't. It was just a normal day. Then two thousand one happened. You know, with that whole with the whole shebang bang of, of the the false flag. The same likewise with uh, uh Novi. You know, the one or even that uh yeah or even that um that C V one nine. Huh. That was just all all of a sudden, man. Yeah. Exactly. But, but, but it was patented in like twenty sixteen. Exactly. Right. <laughs> So show you they they bet they planned it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you also had you have different forms of the shit that they already yeah. was using, but yeah. they were manufacturing that for what was to come, man. And then a lot of it is mm -hmm. still BS because uh, the actual way of even contracting that disease is is, is is basically you can you can basically live from it. But it's a lot of things that they mix with different types of animal DNA that is actually a affecting people. And then, and then when I say they actually mix some shit with DNA, that means they have to. It's not a way that it can travel airborne from an animal to a uh, to a human. That means that they have to put it in a supply of consumption. Yeah, yeah. And then, then he saw. Yeah, then he saw always had. You look at history. He's always had trial trial runs before he does the real thing, man. You had some uh, 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 called what was it? It was swine flu. All these other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, Things. Avian flu, swine flu, yeah, Ebola. yeah, you have all yep. these diseases. Bird flu, bird, yes, yeah, yeah, bird flu. All, you know, that's the avian uh, flu. But uh, all these, the like Esau is a, 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 um, what's the word I'm looking for? A, a, a fear monger, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's always, you know, fear. pushing fear, 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 and that's one of his tactics to get the people in order. You know, but see, we're in times where it's not working anymore. You know, people are, are, are catching on to the BS, you know, and people always mention all these things like, well, this happened, that happened. And, the, you know, it's still business as usual. And the, no one really passed away like that. Now, yeah, a couple of heads may have, you know, may have had a couple of casualties, so to speak. But as a whole, no one's buying this shit anymore. You know, no one's mm -hmm. buying it. This is why he's got to come down with the great wrath. This is how you know we're at the end, because you know, what does it say? Jeremiah, the 49th chapter that Esau is being made bare. Yep. That's it. Hey, hey, um, hey, I know that story. Um, I, I took an Uber this past Saturday to, to the line, man. The damn Uber driver, because they had it. He listened to the radio, and they was talking about it. He said he actually took he actually took the juice. He said he's healthy. He didn't eat no pork. He, he said he he eat pork. He, he, he the fruit and vegetable eating guy, healthy. Then he took that juice, and all of a sudden, he had heart problems. It's it happening to my dad right now. My dad's yeah. having a, a lot of issues now. It's starting to uh, uh, hit him, you know, the past like year, year and a half, and it, and he he can't breathe right. You know, he's constantly like, you know, breathing heavily. My dad, he never, he's not, he's not the healthiest guy, but he's not unhealthy either. You know what I mean? 
Like right. he, he was straight, and then when he when he took the you know the juice, he 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 his health just has been declining, man. And he saw um he he, he know you know the, these uh scientists they knew what they were doing, man. Because you oh, got yeah. a lot of these um even like the so called a uh, uh, young you know healthy athletes are just dropping dead, twenty years old, you know twenty five, you know what I'm saying, maybe thirty mm-hmm. dropping dead. You know, another one just dropped dead uh, um, uh, recently, uh, a day or two ago. One of the top prospects, uh, I think it was uh, for football, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. You know, he just dropped dead. Come on, man. You're, you're telling me that all of a sudden all these, you know, young, healthy athletes all have heart issues? Yeah. He was like 25. Yeah, yeah he was 25. Yeah. 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 See, see, the point, you know, me bringing that Uber drive up is because these people are on to you. They know that shit. Fuck is fucking them up, man. Yeah. So they not <laughs> they know it now, man. So like you say, now he saw he just gotta show his horns. He'd be like, ah, fuck it. I don't care if they know I'm the devil. Yeah, I, I got uh, you, you. Got you. Got me. <laughs> you got me. But, hey, the, but going back to the topic, you know, at hand, it, it, you know, we're living in those evil days because you know Esau is about to start coming out with some shit, man. You know. With some real shit, they a lot of uh, uh, uh virus, you know, those uh, uh those uh viruses that he has, you know, stored up in the CDC are gonna you know be let loose. Mm-hmm. You know, people are gonna uh, uh, uh start killing one another for because of the lack of uh bread and get mm-hmm. great tribulation. You know, a lot a lot mm-hmm. of stuff's about to hit, man. A lot of you know, there, there's gonna be lack of food out here. Yeah, and um, that juice and the juicy people took that further weakened your immune system. Yep. Part of the fruit crew now. Yeah. See? But this dude, hey man, Lord just see Lord what Lord doing is, is building a tab with this devil, man. He's gonna pay for all this shit he's doing, man. Yeah. But the Lord is using him to judge you fucking wicked ass people too. Yep. Uh, uh she might have one. Con um I'm gonna grab this Isaiah real quick. Uh, just back to what the elder just said. This is the book of Isaiah. Uh, let me see. Uh, now, where is it? Damn, I just had uh, Salakia. Dot com. All right. We, uh, yep, here it goes. This is uh, Isaiah 10 and verse 5. It says, Oh, Assyrian. The rod of mine anger and nope. the staff and their hand is mine indignation. Uh, and we know that my day Assyrian is um, Esau. That's it. Nope. He's using this dude at, as his sword. Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to punish the people for all their wickedness. Mm-hmm. You know, because we talk about it all the time. Look at the uh, the acts and the deeds that are going on in this world. You, you got pedophilia, man. you know. Transhumanism, all right. Trans, uh, transform transformations. Okay. Homosexual, homosexuality, <laughs> lesbianism. You got bestiality. You got people murdering each other. Still, you know, one another. There's so many things that are going on, man. We can, we'll literally be here until the until Yahweh Shah comes back. We yeah. have everything. And then, not to um, mention, these people offending the little ones. Which oh, ones yeah. serving the Lord? So, oh yeah, we we had to deal with two bug outs, man, at the line. We had to yeah. deal uh, deal with the Jake that literally just wanted to start shit with us, and he he had a demon on him. He pointed at your don, his specific your don, even say nothing. He didn't say a word to him. He pointed at your don, saying "fuck you" and "fuck you, Israelites." <laughs> he, he made it a point to, uh, uh, to, to uh, call out your don. Your don wasn't even saying shit, you know. And then we had to deal with that. Uh, that goddamn fucking, you know, that Momo Edomite. That dude wanted to fight me. He goes to Taz of War. I don't got a problem with you. I have a problem with him. That shit was funny as hell, bro. Yeah, yeah. Because scripts say every out of word, every out of word, she's going to give a count of in that day, man. Mm-hmm. You see? I wish so, you know, know, yeah. Huh? No. Don't no, say live. Go ahead. Now, I was going to say, which, hey, man, it, that's a high crime. Because you know what? The, the, the prophet, it's not that we're, we esteem ourselves as anything. It's the fact that the Lord has made us messengers, meaning that 
you're despising his message. It's not something we just said, decided to say to you, you like one random individual just to fuck up your fucking day on purpose. It's not about it. It's a simple fact you're doing something, aside from, you know, also offending us, you know, the Lord cares about you know, we somewhat your last hope. Like, Lord, see you fucking up. Like, he's not even, we ain't mentioned none of your crimes bringing real and accusations about your personal life. We don't know nothing about that. The Lord does, man. All right? The Lord just asks that you do one thing, and that's repent and turn from that and come back to who you're supposed to be. But you're denying and, and, and denouncing you. How about me outside? The most time is going to take your ass out, man. It doesn't matter who you are, what you have in this world, how how big you are, how small you are, man. Uh, yeah, that's I the whole point. Yeah, the, the, yeah, you, you uh, despise the words of the Lord. So he's going to um, bring judgment on you, man. So said he despised the words of the Lord should be put to death. Y'all yeah. shall, shall be destroyed. Yep. Yep. Proverbs 13, 13. He right. denies, denies you, denies me. He denies, denies me, denies him that seek me. Yep. All right? So understand the message, man. How shy is not walking this earth physically right now, man. But his word is, his prophets are. And they're telling you it. You know? If you can, even, shit, even though, what did, what did, uh, yeah, how was I saying in the parable when he was talking about the rich man? And the rich man said, Well, they'll believe when it came from the dead. No, they got they got they got the prophets, they got Moses and the prophets. That's good enough. Yep. If they if you can't hear what the words of the prophets are saying, man, then it's ain't meant for you. You were meant for death. Such as yep. are to death to death. Well, shit, yeah. Well, Lord, uh, Lord, see, Lord doing shit so he can't can have a reason to judge these people. That's why that's why we said, you know, a lot of people just gonna hear this word. Majority of people gonna hear the word just to be condemned, man. Yeah, that's the uh, whole point of them hearing it. This, this to back you up, well, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 19, verse 1. As for the ungodly, wrath came upon them without mercy unto the end, for he knew before what they would do. So oh, yeah, who's, who's his elect are who's going to be saved, and, and who's going to stay at two thirds? Because yeah. right? that's what yeah. 44 says, You are your father, the devil. You see. These two thirds, not all Israel's Israel. Is Israel. These two thirds are not our people, man. They gotta go. Yeah, it, definitely not, man. Only, only ones who who's the people right now is the elect, man. That's fuck it. these two thirds, man. Because you got Jake talking about our people. Like these two thirds ain't our people. They fucking right. heathens. They're beasts. You're they niggers. Yeah, niggers. <laughs> <laughs> Nigger. <laughs> I got one real man, quick. Hey, hey man, you, you say, say it loud, man, with the hard er. <laughs> Nick girl, <laughs> hey, you niggers are proud. Hey man, <laughs> fuck Jake, bro. <laughs> Fucking niggers, man. Hey, hey, but, hey, man. Hey, bro, like, look at Jake's conduct, bro. Yeah. Like, and, and, and Jake gets mad when we say this shit. Like, look yeah. at your fucking conduct, bro. Uh, all you motherfuckers, bro. You got yellow teeth. You smoke fucking new parts. <laughs> you smoke blunts. I fucking smell blunt in your fucking goddamn uh, pores. You know what I'm saying? You, you you fucking got shiesty mask all day. You know what I'm saying? You wear them all day. I gotta look at that shit. I gotta look at fucking dreadlocks shaking, especially out here in Chicago. They got the chief key uh, chief demon. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, dude. Yeah. They just, just just fucking shaking their head. You know their dreads. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Man. Oh. That demon really came from Louisiana, bro. No, I know. I mean, shit, it started that's, with Wayne, but bro, that's, what, Chicago, that's not even what I'm saying, bro. That, but that's what I'm saying. Chicago has diverse demons from across the world. Now you got the Venezuelan <laughs> demon out here, man. Oh and, yeah, and some bro. of these niggas actually fuck with them. And them <laughs> dumb motherfuckers are wicked. Yeah. Hey, don't trust them brown skin liars, as Bajak says, bro. Hey, yeah, stay man. away from them too, man. Hey, they're wicked as fuck, bro. I just, man, I, I, I was like I said, I've been in downtown a, a, a lot for work, bro, man. I just. I just uh, uh you had this one dude, they they were in some type of a uh, uh like fucking uh, expedition. I don't know what the fuck they were in, man. Bro, just all tatted up on their face, listening to that, you know, that that's fucking Spanish rap reggaeton shit. You know what I'm saying? Just looking like they were up to no fucking good, bro. Just like stalking fucking, you know what I'm saying? You know, bitches and shit. You know what I'm saying? Those motherfuckers mm -hmm. are evil, bro. Cause you gotta re remember, man, a lot of those people that are coming from Venezuela. They're, they're like the, the, the poor of the poor, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them are, you know, a, a gang and cartel, you know, um, affiliated. You know what I'm saying? Because actually a lot of those, a lot of the men in specific, they're, they're from the jails, man, in, in Caracas, man. And they're getting sent up here, bro. Oh, yeah. And, and you got oh, I see. Uh, 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 
um, different countries, all right, different Latin countries, they're sending their, their prisoners up here, bro. What do you think is going to happen, man? Yeah. There ain't coincidence. Crime went down since they sent them people from over there over here. Yeah. They say crime went down over there. Yep. Yeah. So, man, watch out, man. It's real shit. Watch out, man. Because they, they, man, look, man, Jake is is an evil specimen right now, man. Yeah. They they nobody want to be around. Yeah, nobody. Hey, yeah. Boy, niggas like a niggers like a plague, man. Oh, hey, man, I was, I was on the bus. I was on the bus. Then damn stupid nigga woman smoking in the back, man. Yeah. You see? Uh, you see what I'm talking time, about? The last time I was on the train, I can, you know, I don't take the train anymore like that. Bro, last yeah. time, I know it was late, but bro, they were smoking fucking crack, bro. Man, what the fuck? Straight up on the red line, was, bro. And I yeah. wasn't even. Oh, you know, man. Yeah, it's shit. All I, was, all I was doing was going to Chicago Ave, bro. Oh, man. That's fucking crack, Joe. Yeah, yeah that's shit, what my boy got real like. They be shooting up at Clark and Lake sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, man, I, I definitely avoid that that red line, man. I be uh, you know, I used to go down, uh, take the bus to, to the line, man. I, I just take the orange line. You know, I know the national bus to take a while, but it's better to go on a, than going on a red line, being around niggers. Yep. Hey, shit, hey, we we brought this out. I I, I gotta get it again, man. <laughs> this is a heavy scripture, man. And what we're saying is actually scriptural. You know, this is uh, the Book of Proverbs, chapter four. Verse 14. Yeah, 14. I was oh, yeah. on that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Proverbs 4, 4, verse 14. Enter not into the path of the wicked. Mm. Go not in the way of evil men. Mm. Avoid mm. it. Pass not by it. Turn from it and pass away. Hey, man, I find myself, hey, I see niggas corner. I cross street. Yeah. I don't even yeah. walk past them. I don't even want to be around you niggas, man. I wish I could just get it fuck out this damn building. I mean, yeah. you know, so, fuck like, niggas. Like I, I keep telling brothers, man. Hey, man, if possible today, be around the right folks, the nice folks, the white folks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, real shit, man. You know, hey, fuck Esau too, man. I gotta add that in there because he's a piece of shit. But you know what? You, you, you be around these Edomites, man. It, 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 it's a, it's a whole different vibration, a whole different spirit, man. You know. Yeah. Like, I, I I went to go get some, you know, some grub, man. It, it, the fucking, you know, I don't, I don't know what she was, man. Maybe she was Jake. I don't know. But whatever. I'm gonna say she's a white woman for all you know intents and purposes. You know, I ordered my food. She's all smiling. We're all you know just you know we you know had a little small you know chit chat. You know, she was all, you know, jolly, happy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you, you, you go order some food, and you're with the black woman. That woman's uh, bean mugging you, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'll have an attitude the whole time. Ready to fight you with shit. <laughs> all you're asking for is a, a, a damn two piece and some fries, man. That bitch ready to, to, to kill you for that shit. Yeah. Bro, they don't like doing their job for Jake. That's really what it is. They oh, yeah. yeah. That's really Fuck all yeah. it is because they are a servant. When, when you're at work, what are you doing? A servant. They don't want to serve a nigga. It's just like, and that's how you know they got the same spirit of E because what did, what was E on man when E uh, when when E would uh God damn I'm on the phone man uh, when when uh when E <laughs> when uh when E um you know uh, had service down in like the like you know just for lack of better words the chitlin the chitlin circuit you know when you watch those old movies you know and people got stories you know he didn't want to serve niggas. <laughs> they would get mad as hell if they had to say, and they knew that these niggas was coming. That's what's funny. They knew that these niggas was coming to play for their town, so that they can't, towns can, would make some money. They they knew that shit, man. But Esau mm -hmm. just so wicked. He, it's like nigga, even though you helping me, it's still fuck you. And, that, and that's hey, bro, right. that, a nigga woman will ruin the service of a, of, a, of a certain establishment, man. I just told this one uh, this one uh, fucking mm -hmm. um, Elamite. Like, yeah, you, you need to get rid of her. You need better workers because this bitch didn't want to fucking do her goddamn job for yep. me. Like, like she, she's acting like she had it. Like, it's a, it's a chore. Like, bitch, I just asked you to do one thing. Something you have to do so that I can get well, the fuck up out of here. Bitch, you're making well, $15 dollars an hour. Well, 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 shit. Well, guess what? It was shut up. Well, shit. Guess what? Thanks to feminism, your, your ass got to work. How about that? Exactly. You, see, you can do everything. You can do everything better than a man, right? I, we, I can do more. I, I can do anything a man can do. But guess what? You oh, you exactly. asked for the for for the shit, so <laughs> suck it up and do it, you fucking bald head bitch. Loser. <laughs> hey, but I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here, brothers. I gotta get back to work. <laughs>
Hey, Shalom, brother. Okay, Shalom. 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 Yeah, 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 spirit, man. Yeah, we gotta call these people yeah. losers again, bro. You know, I used to—I mean, I used to be saying that shit when I was a kid. You're a, a fucking loser. I'm gonna start saying yeah, that they shit, are. bro. They are. Hey, like they, I said, they, they started out yeah. the line. Yeah, how was I said what? I'm from above. You're from beneath. We're in the same yeah. uh, spirit, the same. You know, uh, we're yeah. ambassadors, right? So we, we we come in the same stead. Hey, you people are fucking losers, man. Get the fuck away Ooh. from me. Like, hey, like yeah, I told man. It's <laughs> like, yo, look, real quick. Hey, there was this fat bitch, man, trying to talk shit when we we're on the line. But I literally just cut her. I said, why are you talking to me? You're fat. That bitch was so <laughs> cut off of that shit, bro. What the hell happened to the elder? That was bugged the fuck out. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, man. You, you, like, disappeared out of nowhere. That was weird as hell. Yeah, like I said, you fuck it. You're, like, you're losing. They know, deep down know they lose. That's why they, they, they walking around some, some damn hurt, fucking mad as hell, just hurt, man. Because yeah. Because you don't have what it takes, man. To have no discipline, any damn thing, man. Oh, yep. I got a scripture for other Quran, but we said earlier about trying to get away from these uh, two thirds. Yeah. Uh, Psalms. I don't even. I don't hang with you. I don't talk to you. Yeah. I, I run the hell away from y'all ass, man. I don't say shit, man. Kind you know, I'm, I don't say shit to nobody, man. Get the fuck away from me, man. You niggers. Uh, like I say, your dad should play the porn star, man. He should nut in bit in your mom's face. Cause y'all some born in vain, punk bitch ass losers, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is Psalms fifty five and six, and I said, "Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I fly away and be at rest. Lo, oh, God. Then, would I, then I would, then would I wander far off and remain in the wilderness. Salah. I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest, and these." These two thirds are a windy storm and tempest, man. They're nothing but trouble. All right, mm -hmm. stay the fuck away from them, man. What, yeah. what fellowship does righteousness have with wickedness, man? It doesn't. Right. It's like, it. uh, uh, what is it? Oil and vinegar, man. They just don't mix. Don't mix, all right. We, we, we have to be holy, like our father is holy. You know what I'm saying? We have to be separate from these people. We're from the bottom. We're from below, man. These are mortals, man. You see? So we, we got to put on as the elect have that mindset of. of you know, regality, or, all right, yep. being regal. We got to come back to the old paths. Who we really are, man, the sons of God, man. We got to act like that, man. And, and using mm -hmm. and staying away the fuck, staying the fuck away from these people, man. These yeah. people are yeah. especially two thirds. Yeah. Insatiable, yep. Yeah, insatiable, yep, yep, yep. That's it, man. Can, can, this can we end? So lucky. you got some. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was gonna say, can we wrap it up? I gotta get out of here. Yeah, you got it. Go ahead. That's precepts. Go ahead, this is uh, Ephesians 5 and verse 11. It says, and have no spirit. fellowship. Con. And well, have you no said fellowship. Oh, Salaki, you said Ephesians. Excuse me. You got it, Doc. Con, con. This is Ephesians 5 and verse 11. It says, and have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, mm. but rather reprove them. So we are not to have any fellowship with, 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 the, people that, with the people outside this truth, man. All right, the, the the ones are uh, um, uh, in 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 the in the darkness. All right, don't know what's going on because all they, all they're doing is wickedness. All right, they don't want to do righteousness. It says that um in, in John the third chapter the nineteenth verse that they uh um uh I don't want to butcher it. I got it right here. John three and nineteen. It says, and this is a condemnation that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were were evil. For everyone that do it evil, hated the light, neither come into the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. So really, these people hate us, man. All right, we represent the light. We're serving Yahweh Bashim al Shai. You know, so these people are against the light. All they want is blood. At the end of the day, they're 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 gonna they're gonna seek your life. They're gonna seek to put you to death. All right, because yeah. it's something that you're not down with, just like they did with Stefan. All right, mm -hmm. Stefan rebuked them, get them a run down their history, man. They ain't like that shit. You know, so what they do, they gnash their teeth. Stop their ears and stone him, man. Mm -hmm. So it's the same way in these times. These people got the. These are the same people coming back, you know. Got the same attitude, the same spirit on them of hatred for those that uh, work righteousness. That's it. Yeah, man. Yeah, this uh, this this truth brings the accountability. People hate that, man. Mm -hmm. They hate the accountability. They just want to do whatever the hell they want. They don't. They don't want no correction on the wickedness yeah. they're doing. 
Right. And we all about reproving. So mm -hmm. it, it, that, it, like the brother said, it's oil and water. We are never mixed with these people. At all. Which is good, man. I, I don't want to mix with them. Yeah. <laughs> don't want I don't don't want to be around y'all niggers. And you fucking wicked ass people, period, man. Yeah, it says that uh they're they're abomination to us and we're abomination to them. We right. we have That's no it. fellowship whatsoever. That's it. And they really they're the real abomination. See, the beautiful thing is the Lord has the same mind as the righteous. The Lord don't have a mind, same mind as you wicked ass fucks. So y'all through. Right. <laughs> That's the beautiful thing about it, man. <laughs> God. Oh, not just like you had to leave. Uh, yeah. You got cut off. I'm not yeah. sure. I don't know what happened. I'm not sure what happened either. Uh, yeah. Um, but y'all two both going to class this evening, Lord Will? Yeah. yeah I Oh yeah, yeah, Shemaya. I know you say you gonna come grab me, come. And take care of that. Food there. Let me let me call him and see what. Can you bring out a scripture? Uh, uh, pro, I think it's Proverbs nah. nine six. Go in the way of understanding. Proverbs nine. Uh, Con. I guess. Sorry, did you uh, yeah. something disconnect or did you dip? Con. This is Proverbs nine verse six. Okay. It says, "Forsake right. the foolish and live." And go in the way of understanding. So we we ought to forsake the ways of foolishness right, and mm -hmm. seek life, which is the law, such as the commandments of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. Right, mm -hmm. walking righteously, uh, uh, you know, walking righteously according to the law, man, not walking according to our own hearts or according to the right. desires of this world, because that's all going to lead to death. You know, yep. but going in the way of understanding and seeking Yahweh by Shem Al Shai, those things lead to life everlasting. Mm -hmm. right. If you apply it. You know, yep. Well, yeah. If you follow, if you follow your Howard Shai, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, uh, this is um. You know, let me grab this real quick. This is Proverbs one and uh, and thirty three. One second. Proverbs one. Let me go down to the bottom. In thirty two, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. So whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. All right, so that's why it's Rock 23 and 27 says, uh, and those that remain shall know that there's nothing better than the fear of the Lord and that there's nothing sweeter than to heed to the commandments of the Lord. All right, we got to be right. doers of this word, not hearers only, you see? We have to be that, and us ourselves as well, you know what I'm saying? We have to be that example, walking in this light daily, you know what I mean? Because this is going to lead us to salvation, man. All right? Not the ways of this world. The ways of this world is a death style. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That's it, man. You see it? Uh, so not Zach had to leave. His phone was Ooh. overheating or something, he said. Oh, okay. That's cool. Ka -ka. Yeah. Okay. Good shit. I got another one. This is Psalms chapter 26, verse... Um, I'll, I'll start at three for the for thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in truth in thy truth. I have not mm -hmm. sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with dissemblers. I have hated mm -hmm. the congregation of evildoers, and I will not sit with the wicked. You see, mm -hmm. so, okay, there's examples in the scriptures of, of being separate, being holy from these two thirds, man. Mm -hmm. That these last days basically that we would know it's you see, and that's yeah. why we, we gotta try a man uh, according to, to this word, you know what I'm saying? Prove a friend, All right? Right, because these these two thirds, hey, they're gonna speak uh out of the abundance of their own heart, and it's gonna be all foolishness, all wickedness, you see. Mm -hmm. But a man of the Lord is gonna be in this word, precepts, you know, precept after precept, you know what I'm saying. Speaking yeah. the words of the Lord. That's it. That's right. Hey, doing, yeah. doing them. Sorry. Oh yeah. Yeah. Be here. Be doers the word, not hearers only. Right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. It's, it's two thirty. Hey, what the scriptures say, um, uh, he he be ignorant. Let him be ignorant still, because these yes, same fucking demons coming back anyway. We said it earlier, man. They're yeah. gonna they're gonna be same motherfuckers coming back doing the same shit, man. Right. 
it, it's all the program of the Lord anyway, man. The Lord don't want me want the majority of our people anyway. Yeah. So they heathens right. and eyes of the Lord. Uh, now as I can ask if we could grab this. This is Amos 9 13. Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes, mm. him that soweth seed. And the mountains shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. Oh, wait, he, puts, he puts some more. Oh, I'm sorry, 5 and 13. He meant, damn, my bad. All right, I see you. Amos 5 13. Yeah, I got it right here. This is the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 13 through 15. Therefore, the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. Seek good and not evil, that ye may live. Yes, yes, so we ain't gonna be out in the highways, byways, teach. Really, I don't say shit to these niggas now, man. Yeah. But the Lord's still guys out there on the highways and byways. Because, see, at the end of the day, man, we, we always speak to elect, man. Like yeah. I said, two thirds gonna hear this just to get to them, man. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, brother. So the Lord, the God of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken. Hate the evil and love the good. And so I say, hate the evil. Yep. So why, why you, why you hate? The scriptures say, hate the evil, man. Yeah. Anybody who doing things contrary to the Lord, we ain't supposed to be dealing with them or like them, man. Right. You gotta hate that vehemently, you know, with a perfect hatred. Right. They That's it, man. And establish hey, well, so, so you guys, so so you guys just like to bring that scripture out, uh, love your enemies and stuff. What, what about this scripture here? The brother just read. Yeah. Yeah. You see, it ain't no contradiction. It ain't no contradiction. You just don't have a true understanding of what that really means. Right. These things are written in parables for the elect to understand. Remember the the That's wise shall understand, but none of the wicked. You know the book of Daniel. That's it. But this is Amos 5 and 15. Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be right. that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Oh, the remnant. It's all about the remnant, the elect. That's it. You see, right now, the small little sanctuary, small number. Who the Lord, like our Lord always dealt, man, to show his power, man. That's it, yep. Yeah. You see? I got one. Kind of Matthew 13 and verse 9 says, Who have ears to hear, let him hear. And mm -hmm. everybody don't got ears to hear. This is only a for the for the elect. Only the elect can hear. Like it says in uh uh Romans the eleventh chapter in the seventh verse. You know, That's only it. the elect can hear the rest of the rest of these niggas, they, they they don't have it, man. They're gonna seek for the truth and never find it. That's it, it. Says, say let their table become a snare. Yep, yep. that's right. So, and, so and, and that's the scriptures. Yeah. That's it. You know, that's they, it. they, they ain't gonna they <laughs> no, I said they ain't gonna have no one strike. Lord gonna lead had them go into other bullshit that don't matter, it's just BS. But they think it's it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Bug the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. It says verse 10, and the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Mm. He answered and said unto them. Because so the Lord want everybody to get it. Why? Why is He speaking to them in parables? He want everybody to get it, right? If He's speaking in parable. He don't want it. He is only select number of people He want to get it, man. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Uh, speaking of dark sins. You know, something that's hard yeah. to interpret and understand. That's it. That's it. Uh, so it says, because it is it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them, it is not given. So that's why we said thank you, two third, for making our, our change that much better, man. Yeah. You know, because it ain't meant for everybody, man. We don't lose no sleep. This is a program of the Lord, man. We know the majority of the people ain't going to get it, man. Yep. You people talking shit, talking shit, you're doing it to your own hurt because you coming against the words of y'all about your mouth shot. You're not hurting us. I don't, I don't care. The Lord going to deal with you for your words, man. Yeah, you, you have not forsaken me, but your own selves, you know. Yeah. Followers. That's it. So, yeah, right. yeah go to talk away. The Lord going to be the one deal with y'all asses in that day, man. Oh, right. Uh, uh, 
we judge those we judge those that are within and the most high judges those that are without you know what i'm saying that's it. and that's, that's a scary it. thing man you know what i'm saying yeah. you don't want to get reproved by us you you, know, you definitely don't want you know the lord dealing with your ass you know what i'm saying yeah yeah, yeah. they're talking yeah. about these stupid people talking about yeah when you got your good judgment it's the most stupid to say well yeah that is that's a stupid as that's the stupidest saying so you really want the lord <laughs> leaving the lord's hands i mean that show you that's a, a stupid moron, moron ass person man well yeah and, stupid and statement. Like the scriptures, you know yeah the, the account with moses when the people are like oh we'll, we'll talk to him you know and then he thought oh, yeah. and they all got scared like no moses you go deal with him you talk right <laughs> we don't know the power man yes yeah, you know yeah, that's it bro so that's why because they that, to them as a thief of the night man they're gonna yeah. learn the fear of the lord the hard way that's my right. pain that's it. Yeah, that, show, that shows you. That shows you right there. They don't fear by making a stupid statement like that. Right. Man. You know what the Lord can do? You say He's a terrible yeah. power, man. Yeah. King, yeah, of, King of terrorists. Right. I will show you. I got some. I yeah, much rather. I much rather repent and listen to who the Lord dealing with than to yeah. let the Lord yeah. deal with it, man. Yeah. Huh. He, got to step in, he got to step in to deal with it, man. It's not it's not gonna be pretty, man. Right. Yeah. Brutal horrific deaths. That's yeah. what's coming. That's it. Hey, Mortal Kombat style fatality deaths, man. Yeah. You know? But it says Second Kings 2 and 23. It says, and he went up from hence unto Bethel. And as he was going up by the way, there came forth little children out of the city. And mocked him and said unto him, Go up, thou ball head, go up, thou ball head. Says mm -hmm. he turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of Yahweh Shemal Shai. And there came forth two she bears out of the wood and tear forty and two children of them. So mm -hmm. and you had these little kids mocking the prophet Elisha, all right? They saying, Go up, thou ball head, you know, mocking him, man, all right, for his appearance. Mm -hmm. And he turned around. Put curses on them and they were put to death, man. All right, 42 children put to death by Yahweh by Shema al Shah. And that's what happens when you when you mess with the Lord's prophets. It's this to do his prophets no harm, you know. That's it. And that's, that's, that's it. That's coming back in, the, in these times as well. Like people talk shit against us, scoff against us, threaten our lives. Hey, hey that's that's to your own detriment, man. Because you don't know yeah. who you're talking to. Fucking with brothers' livelihoods, all that shit, man. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, the damn, that, that, that damn demon of champagne. Y'all, yeah, put out the brother Dallas information. Con, you see, that's using that example, man. Just fucking demons. Lord gonna deal with y'all ass, man. Mm. You know, just because they don't come right away, don't mean they ain't coming to your ass. Right. Yeah, so the, the scourges are sent for amendment, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, it's coming, see, baby. That's coming. See, people think since the Lord don't do it right, don't bring the judgment right away, that they good, man. Ecclesiastes well, 8. Yep. Yeah, you, you're in a trick bag, man. Yeah. And then that's the worst thing the Lord do, because he just allowed you the power of sin upon sin upon sin, so your judgment that can be that much more horrific. Right. That's it. I got some. This Deuteronomy 32 and 35. It says, to me belong in vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time. So their, their judgment is going to come in due time, man. Yes. Right? Yeah. At a point in time. It's just because, like the elder said, don't come right away. You know, they think that they're good. They think that they got away with what they did. No, the Lord is is, is, is just setting that judgment up for your ass for this for this point uh, pointed moment, man. You know, when you that's it. it. Yeah, and then they, they little, they stupid ass. No, that's the worst the Lord can, can do to you. Yeah. Cause now you just keep adding more and more and more on onto your tail. That's it. Huh? And it says, "For the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste." Uh, hey, you uh, Rapayu, you uh, I know Natsaki was sending messages. Do you see him? Yeah, yeah, I read the scripture he asked for. And oh, okay. We, okay. we could just close out when we're ready. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you saying some Shema? No, no, no. That that was it. God, God. That was the point. Yeah. 
I guess we end it. All right. And with that, we hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. Again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Apostles, and those great millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. And salutations to Allah Akim, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom and Abad Babal. Abad Babal. Yeah, that's it, man. All right. We'll leave the studio.